Okay, so I recently got a Steam Deck. Uh, I'm absolutely loving it. It's really changed the way I play games, really. Um, I can I can switch between my PC, TV, handheld. Uh, it's uh, it's really nice. It's really nice. But yeah, the purpose of this video is uh, basically to kind of give you a few recommendations that you might want to play if uh, you've recently got hold of a Steam Deck like myself. And yeah, just uh, a few fun games that I've been playing that I think you should check out too. So yeah, let's uh, let's go have a look. So the first game I am going to be uh, showing you is Cult of the Lamb. Uh, this is this got quite popular when it came out. It's for good reason, really. It's it's a really really good game. I played it when it first came out, but I never got around to finishing it because of uh, other games and commitments and stuff. But I have uh, recently started playing it a lot more on the Steam Deck, and I think it is perfectly suited for the Steam Deck. So it is on Switch as well, so it is already playable handheld, but. I don't think it runs super well and the, it doesn't look quite as nice on the Switch. So I think the Steam Deck is perfect for this. It runs really nicely. I set it to uh, medium settings and everything was really nice, 60 frames per second. It runs really nicely. It, it looks really nice as well. And uh, yeah, it's just a really good fit for the Steam Deck, I think. It's basically like a... Uh, it's a roguelike, kind of. But well, it is a roguelike in the dungeon crawling, but there's also like this um, village building aspect that's really unique in the roguelike space. So essentially you go on these crusades and you um, you kind of gather resources and defeat enemies and uh, dodge these kind of, not really bullet hell, but some kind of bullet hell inspired sections. Kind of, there's some cool boss fights in there. The combat is really fluid, it's really crunchy, it's really good. And uh, yeah, once you've done that, you can come back and kind of uh, like build up your following, your cult, which involves uh, getting resources and uh, kind of managing this little central central hub really and building it up, getting new followers as you go on your crusades and the gameplay loop just revolves around this and it sounds simple and it is simple but it's, it's addictive and it's really fun and I would really recommend playing this on Steam Deck, it's really good and uh, yeah, it's uh, the art style is really cool as well, like um, I love the idea of the, the the cute little sheep just going around and just uh, just uh, killing all these uh, bosses and <laughs> it's really fun. Yeah, you should play this one. Okay, the next game is Coffee Talk. Now, I I, I do really like visual novels and uh, games of this kind of genre, but I don't play an uh, awful lot of them. Uh, I would like to, and I have been meaning to, but I don't play too many. But this is one that I've managed to sit down and play. I'm, I've almost finished it now, I've not completed it yet, but I'm uh, I'm pretty close, and it's really good, and I think it's perfect for the Steam. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's basically a visual novel, but you have these little kind of, uh, these little, I guess it's like a mini game, kinda. It's, it's just a really simple little mechanic where you make people coffee or hot drinks in a coffee shop, but it's also got a really nice little story attached to it, and the characters are really well written. It's a really well written game. It's, it's kind of got like uh, magical creatures and um, it's, it's, it's got a really, really mature story really. It's, it's really good. I would really recommend playing this if you're into visual novels or you just want a nice relaxing time with a really gorgeous pixel art style. I think there is a sequel coming up to this too, which uh, I don't, I, I'm not sure when it comes out, but I, I have heard there's a sequel coming for this too, so yeah, this is, now is a good time to play this one. Now this one is really, really good. It's a really good fit for the Steam Deck, and uh, this is Tetris Effect Connected. Oh my, I love this game. I've played this game to death on uh, on Xbox, on uh, PC as well, but I've always wanted to have this game on the go. I know there was a Switch version uh, released recently, but the game is very graphically demanding, and I, I feel like although the Switch version does run okay, it's 30 frames per second, it's... Uh, it's, it doesn't look amazing in comparison to the, the PC and console versions, so um, yeah, this, uh, this having a Tetris effect on the Steam Deck is really, really cool. I've, I, I love playing Tetris handheld, I love playing Tetris 99 on Switch, so playing my favourite Tetris game handheld is awesome. This game is incredible, guys, it's, it's so good. If you haven't played Tetris Effect Connected, you really, really need to. Even if you have no interest in Tetris whatsoever, this game, it, it, you need to play it. I feel like every everyone that enjoys playing games should play this game. I, I don't, I, I can't imagine you not enjoying it. It's so good. It's like um, it's got all these visual effects and uh, this awesome soundtrack that goes to uh, kind of like the beat as you're 
as you're dropping the Tetris blocks. It's really, really good. I can't describe how good this game is. Just play it for yourself. Just look at the footage here. If this is, looks like something you, you could get into, definitely give this a go, especially on the Steam Deck. It's really cool to play handheld. Okay, the next game, I feel like, uh, I feel like not many people watching this video will have heard of this game. It's quite a small indie game, it's called Islets. Uh, it's a metroidvania, and it's it takes some inspiration from Hollow Knight, a little bit, but then adds a bunch of new and unique ideas, it's really really good. And uh, if you're into metroidvanias, I would highly, highly recommend you play this game. It adds so many fresh ideas, it's really fun, it's basically encapsulates everything I love about the genre into one cute little package. The art style is kind of like a Studio Ghibli-esque, it's really nice to look at. It plays really well, it's really polished. I, I, I can't recommend this game enough, I really can't. I want more people to play this game. It's it's not super long, I finished it, I 100% completed the game, I got all the achievements in about 12 hours. So it's not a super long metroidvania, but if you're into the genre, you like Hollow Knight, and you've played played a few other Metroidvanias, you should definitely give this a go. It's really, really good, and it runs beautifully on the Steam Deck. It also is not very demanding, so the battery life on the Steam Deck lasts for ages when you're playing this. I played this for like six hours and the the, the Steam Deck didn't even die, so it, it's, it lasts for a long time. But yeah, definitely give this a go if you like Metroidvanias. Okay, the final game that I want to mention came out very recently. It came out a few days ago, in fact, and this is Lego Brick Tales. And, uh, oh wow, I played the demo of this, not expecting much, uh, at Steam Next Fest, the most recent one, and it was really, really fun. I don't think I would have picked this game up if I didn't play the demo, I just thought, yeah, it's, it looks like a cute little Lego game, let's, uh, let's give it a go. But I played it, oh my, it's really, really fun. It's, uh, it's kind of like a, like a, diorama kind of puzzle game like uh, like Captain Toad almost if you played that on the Switch. Yeah, it really it really kind of blew me away. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. Uh, the puzzles are kind of they're not too easy. They're a, a perfect amount of challenge for me personally and uh, like the the puzzles where you're building the different Lego uh, structures. It's it's really good. It's a it's a really really cool blend of uh, actual Lego building with uh, a video game, essentially, and I did not expect to be this game to be so good. I really didn't. Uh, the camera controls are a little bit awkward, but it's it's easy to, to work around when the game is this much fun, and I would highly recommend you pick this up on Steam Deck. Uh, I feel like, um, I don't know if it released on Switch, I think it did also release on Switch, but the Steam Deck um, only just about runs this, it's quite a demanding game. But it does work very nicely on Steam Deck. It is verified. But yeah, it's uh, I would I would highly recommend you pick this up if you like relaxing puzzle games. If you like Lego, you need to play this game. It's really good. Okay, that is all of my five recommendations for this video that you should uh, at least consider if you if you like the look of any of these. Yeah, just go have a look. Go watch the trailers. Go uh, wishlist them on Steam. And uh, yeah, go, go check them out for yourself. And let me know in the comments what you guys are playing on your Steam Deck, whether you've played any of these, whether you've played a different game that you think is perfect for the Steam Deck. Please do let me know. That would be really cool to hear. Uh, are you enjoying your Steam Deck? Because I certainly am. Um, but yeah, that's uh, th this pretty much sums it up. If you like this video, please do give it a like and uh, consider subscribing. It really does help me out. But yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you all soon.